hello hello what is going on welcome beautiful people you know welcome fans loved ones yada yada you know what i'm saying and it's the same difference really because if you a bussy boy you are family welcome you see us in the street approach us cautiously don't run up on us because we might just have to launch projectiles in the form of hands but you are more than welcome to give us a hello from a distance and we so urge you to come closer we can but hello now as you see christian couldn't make it today you know because uh he, he's gotta go make that guap for some guac you know what i'm saying that's where all the money goes it goes to avocados uh but i got uh a returning guest actually uh you know, all of you know him. You've heard of him. You've got to at least heard of him before. That boy, Trumpito. I gotta say, I didn't think you were ever gonna get to it. It were taking too long. I, I cued them in. I cued the band. They, you know what they call this band? The President's Own, because I'm still the president. Can you believe it? I I can't because, like, Everyone else says differently. I've like been the, the president this whole time. So, okay. Yeah. You know why? Not because, not even because the election was stolen, which it was, but because Sleepy Joe has been asleep at the wheel and who's been manning the helm behind the scenes oh. in top secret. It's been me. And it's not, oh. it's not top secret anymore because I, you know, I'm telling you now, but it, it has been, and it has been my honor to operate as commander in chief for the last what has it been like two and a half yeah i don't know who's counting it's kind of wild because see the thing that i was thinking i mean you've been in the news a lot and i'm like wow there's no way that trump is actually still president because he's like been in the news a lot and it's like how do you have the time i've been to... where you you've been like in the news you've been like on tv you've been you keep saying been... i've been in the fake news that's where i've been I've not been anywhere that matters. I've only been being reported on by fake loser media, where all they can do is talk smack and talk. Can I swear on here? Is that okay? Are you going to bleep it out and post? As long as you don't say nothing too crazy. All they sure. do is shit talk me in the fake news media. And I got to say this. I got to say, really, really, here and now, I'll say it officially. On what is it? Where am I at? The L You're on the L and C hold podcast. The L podcast. I just want to say you can hold this L. Keep my name out of your mouth. The Keep my LNC wife's podcast. name out of your mouth while you're at it. And please. <laughs> yeah, that's, ta that's taking it too and far. Your, please. And your daughter. And your son. Which wife am I on? Them all. <laughs> right though. What you got like sixteen Keep of them? One and all of my past wives' names out I'm of your the mouth. Local your past wives and i'm gonna fuck them all fuck them all that's enough please it's that's uncalled enough. for they say you people get come to violence very quickly too so you're not doing you're not oh, doing yeah. yourself any favors oh, yeah. reputationally speaking i'm just saying what we all know deep down just like i said i'm still president we all knew that i'm still the top dog in charge I think you have dementia. I love black people. I do. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, they're some of my favorites. They some of they got some of the best cuisines. I love uh, those little sea roaches. You guys boil up the crawdads. I love those. I love uh, what else do you people? I love hush puppies. I love cornbread. Some people say I look like cornbread, and I resent that remark. You look like fucking uh, what's it? The goddamn pumpkin king, look like a like the headless horseman, but <laughs> with his head on because it's a pumpkin. You would do well to watch your mouth. 
going forward. We're off to a bad start. If you, you want st- me to stick you around, if you, you want started. me to stay, let's hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If you want me to stick you around, me. you will do well to mind your manners. <laughs> um, I'll I'll tell them to be minded. I guess. Have we even gotten to the questions that my people gave you? I mean, I've been trying to get to the questions, but you, you start talking a little spicy. I don't even think you can handle that spice. I, I just want to need... say first, before we get rolling, that uh-huh. I'm here to promote my new presidential candidacy. Mm. I will be the first president in history out of wartime to serve a third consecutive term and the office in the office of president of the I don't know why you're laughing because it's not funny it's the truth you said I've you been said there it. this whole time I'm going to continue to be there and we're going to keep kicking Ukraine's ass we're going to keep kicking China's ass we love Russia we love but you didn't hear me say that here are we are we out of war time I'm team I, we're not in a war, and I don't think we should be in a war. I don't think we should be giving millions and millions of dollars in weaponry to a country that no one's even heard of before two years ago. Are you kidding me? No one even knows what Ukraine, more like you lame, <laughs> and that's why they're losing, and I hope they do lose. But that I'm getting off topic. Excuse me. I'm getting off topic. I'm getting off topic. Please. I think... I think- I think they're losing because they're, like, real small. I'm they're really incom- only here to promote my third term in office, soon to be, in a couple you know, years, we're going to have an election that, God willing, won't be rigged, and that I'll win from the get. Yeah, you're kind of confident that you're going to get this second uh, term. Well, I'm here. confident in our country, and I'm confident in, in its people that they won't try and steal an election from me. I, uh, I don't know. I hope that that I, confidence I, isn't misplaced. I feel like if the right people, uh, come together and, and do, you know, and just, I feel like it's extremely possible. That's what I'm good sure. at. I'm good at making people come together as one in unison under a, under a strong and more perfect union, the best, most fantastic union you've ever seen in your life you like you wouldn't believe i mean i've seen a lot of unions so well that's great i love that that's uh that's all i'm saying i mean uh let's let's start with a few questions Please. i mean first how are you in general Did you, believe you know this guy I... it's like he doesn't know what he's doing i can't i'm sorry you i'm know, talking to my people i i hear i hear i hear that I mean, who's the interviewer, though? I mean, I'm surprised you know how to ask questions. I'm surprised you know how to... I know. To who fo- is the interviewer? I thought there was supposed to be a guy who's like half on my team here. And I feel like I'm getting ganged up on a one-man gang-up type situation. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. You can't gang up on somebody if you're one person. It's I feel like I'm about to be work. jumped in. Can I, can I be honest? I feel like I'm about to be jumped in. And we're on a video not- call. I'm not gonna lie, it, that's still possible. We're, it's, I, uh, I, was, I was a year on a video call. I'm on an audio call because I was so nervous when they said that the half white guy wouldn't be anywhere near here. I thought, oh, what? I'll, I only have Secret Service, and they're kind of doing their own thing now. God bless them. I mean, well, just so you know, I've tracked your IP address, and we know exactly where you are. So that's that thing. Um. So watch what you say. And Jokes second, on you. I only pee standing up, and right now I'm seated. So that's not going to do you any well right now. Please, with the questions, right, please. Outside of that, okay. Let's 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 pull them up, shall we? I'm a man. I pee standing up. What can I say? Congratulations. Let the fake news chew that up. Um, I think they'll love that. I think they'll be glad to hear that. So, you know, so what's your relationship with uh Timothy Par Par Parlator? You know, after he after he left, after he left, you'll you'll press this little team there. He saw that you were about to eat wild shit, and he was like, "I don't like the taste of shit in my mouth, so I'm about to dip skis." Now, a weaker man would dodge this. 
and sidestep the question because this wasn't one of the ones that my people gave you under close review. But you know what? Because my balls are so big, as big as they are orange, I'll attack this one head on. Okay, yeah, are you happy? So don't, don't get it twisted, please. Let's not mince words here when I say that Timothy Parlator, Parlator, mm -hmm. I don't know how you say it. We didn't know each other very long, sadly. We did. Uh, or happily, I don't know. He's a, piece, he's a a bad guy. He wasn't good enough for my team, and that's why we had to actually let him go. Uh, I mean, he said he left. He was, though. listen, he was in a position where he could say that he left, sort of how, you know, like a, a if how I get in these relationships and the women usually get to say that they left or that they made, but I make the call every time. It's always oh. me. Oh. It's always me. So, I mean, I that's my bad. That's my foul for not getting on it ASAP and getting out ahead of it because the fake news stat really snatched it up and went to town and made it seem like I had a weak legal defense in this whole what's-her-face trial. I mean, it seems like you did, though, you know. Can I just say, and really, it was... I thought I made it as clear as, I'm sorry, my people made it as clear as possible, uh, my actual legal team, that we wouldn't be talking about any trials or any sort of place. I'm here to talk about running for office again for a third term. Oh, but, but peep, you got to clear these things up if you want to run for office. To clear what up? Next. There's nothing to clear up. I'm clear as day. I've got perfect pores. Everything's golden. I don't know about that. I'd have to see. When you're president, everything stays clear. Do you not I, get that? I guess you wouldn't because you're not president, but I'm telling you now, as the president, mm -hmm. I clear things. I clear things. Things stay clear. It's clear as day at all hours of the day. Under God, indivisible. With liberty and just, I'm the president. Thank you. Damn. Now that you mention it, I think a lot are of are we talks, clear? See what I did there? We are because I'm the president. No, but still, what I was just thinking is like I think a lot of adults in general have like decently clear skin, so it's like I don't think that really accounts for anything, you know. Well, see what I did, and I'll give uh -huh. you a little a little skin tip, if oh, I may. Yeah. Usually uh -huh. I leave that to the women, but I think I'll throw my hat in the ring. I uh -oh. I have a really uh, strict regimen. Mm. Yeah. Where in the morning I get um, just like, uh, what's her name? Some crushed soda. Well, I get um, some Korean, you know, foreskin, baby foreskin, and I go ahead and lather that on. I have a Mexican lady. She comes in and she rubs it deep. And then actually what I do instead of Sandra Bullock, that's her method, but what I do in addition to that yeah. is I is I take all that foreskin that I'm lathered in and I go ahead and lay down in the tanning bed and it congeals to my body and it sticks. It's really gooey after the tanning bed. And I put tan solution on. I put tanning oil over top of that as well. It's really caked on now at this point, the foreskin. And when I get out, I emerge a new man, glowing in every way, shape, and form. I, uh, I so that's the that. secret. Uh, the tanning is the secret, really. All that other stuff is basic. Everyone has access. Oh, oh, so everyone has. I know access. a tanning bed isn't economical for everybody, but uh, we all have access to those other things. I mean, I know tons of people that go to the um to tanning salons and stuff. I don't know where they are, but I know that they got to be out there. I don't know why yeah. I'm giving this information away for free. We should make an NFT. We should do something with that. Get. Let me talk to legal after and see if we can get going on a on a skin regimen. See, I'd be interested to hop in a business deal with you if you made money, which you kind of don't. That's all I make. I it's money and good decisions and oh, children. That's funny that you said that because I uh, actually have a few more questions. Uh, Please. Well, first, uh, 
Well, I have a question about money, but I wanted to ask you about uh, John Carroll first. Jean, John, Joan. I don't know who Joan. you're referring to. I've never heard of her and them, idiot. him. Is that a man, you just, John? A you, man? You just, lost, you just lost to her in court. I just lost to I never you got lose. Paid like a million dollars. See, this, is, this is exactly what I am talking about. We were just weeks, got off on such a great foot, agreeing on what's fake versus what's real you got to tell us you got to explain this you got to let us know what exactly my is name the truth. is already clear and i'll tell you why i'll tell you why okay. because this person this woman uh -huh. if you want to call uh -huh. her that she's not exactly a looker mm -hmm. this person I mean, not, is a you... liar i've never seen them in my life for more than two seconds outside of the bergdorf's department store that she claims to have seen me in and which she claims that i took her to a dressing room to try to help her and me try on some things and that she claims that mm. other things transpired which they didn't mm. and that's all i'll say i've never seen her before or since or even during that i don't know who she is i've never seen her in my life were you talking mad spicy shit about her? Because she has said that too. I think you. I think you'd have to know who she is to be talking. Talk, well, in what way? In what way could I be talking about a person that I've never even met and that I've never even seen? It doesn't make sense. Could you explain this to me, please? Because that's what mm -hmm. I. That's what I fail to understand at each and every one of these confrontations. Is how, how do you? Mr. President, hey, well, you've been disparaging this. How do I disparage someone that I've never even met? I don't know them. I don't know them. I do not know her. If you saw her at the store and she had helped you try I don't even her. have any business knowing her on account of how hideous she is. She's unlike anybody I'd ever date. And they want to play this clip over and over again of me looking at her, looking at photos of her in the deposition and thinking that she was my ex-wife Marla, right? That's because Marla's a dog. And I, like I said, I never make any mistakes. I'm talking about Marla now. She looked then in her youth like Marla now. And there's a reason why we're not together anymore, right? Because it's not my type. It's not my type. Not attractive. I mean, what changed between when you Ugly. initially... When you initially met her, and then when she somehow became not your type. Again, how could I meet someone who I've never met in my life? Next question. Well, my next question. So, but but you did lose the the case. Are you gonna pay her any money, even though you never met her? Are you gonna you know pay? It's her? all being taken care of, and it's all temporary. Whatever is paid out by whoever to whomever will be taken care of. And I promise I mean, you this, any money uh -huh. that changes hands mm -hmm. will come back twofold, uh, sorry, tenfold my way. And you can take that to the bank. So please, I'm not worried about this. No one should be worried. It's all gonna be taken care of in the end. I don't think anyone's worried. You're probably the only one that's worried because you like, you probably don't have the money, but like, you are gonna pay her, right? I'll tell you what, she's going to fuck around and find out if she thinks she's getting anything. If she thinks she's yeah. not going to have to fork over, like I said, 10 times as much for even accosting me, even taking this much time away from my presidential duties. I, mean, right? I have intel I need to be yeah. reading. I have... I, I have debriefs I'm supposed to be in, and I have to be in a deposition? Are you kidding me? No! Unacceptable. Unacceptable. She's totally and completely deprived me of mm. my sovereign ability mm. to conduct Good. business as president of the United States. I mean, I'm sure the what you have to be in court a few hours for a few days. I'm sure that's taken up so much time of your otherwise completely free schedule. And those 48 hours... That's the reason why Ukraine is even in a, in a war right now. I got to say, it would have been over, and it's all her fault. All her fault. I don't know. I don't, People are so I don't selfish. Feel... People are so selfish. They'll make anything about themselves. Even being sexually assaulted, they make it all about themselves. 
and they take people about, away from their jobs. They take people away from important matters, real matters. I think people that I think people that sexually assault others should be off the streets. I there's, do too. There's, there's, there's buildings for people that do that type of stuff. There are, there are, and they're they, all thugs. They, people yeah. who do that, they're all thugs and usually gangsters. I gotta say, but what do gangsters look like? But when it's false, it's false. And I'm not a gang. I'll tell you, they don't. A gang I don't look like a gangster, and a gangster looks Ooh. nothing like me. Have you ever seen like uh, the mafia movies and stuff? Of course, I love them. I love them. Oh, what do those people usually look like? Hmm. They look like mafia guys. I gotta say, they don't look like. They, they don't look like gangsters. They don't look like gangsters. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they call themselves gangsters. Not in the sense that I mean. No, no, that sense. No. Interesting. So Very we, so we're done, right? With the lady, we get it. She doesn't uh, exist. Can... She's not real. She's a figment of your imagination. How I can I meet someone who doesn't exist? <laughs> Problem solved. It's all going to be taken care of. It's all, it's all being taken care of. In fact, it's already yeah, taken you... care of. In fact, so I already took already... care of her. You already paid her her money. The five million you had it she's being dealt with next <laughs> question please we'll get back to that please excuse me next question please or i'll so, walk if i were to go to your home in mar-a-lago what would i find there what would you find in mar-a-lago but beautiful beautiful putting green beautiful beautiful Golden trim on the walls, magnificent gold and pearl walls. Oh, what else? Uh, you would just find, you'd just be in the most magnificent place on earth. Is where you'd be. You'd think you were in heaven. You'd think you were so in heaven. Would I, would I find fifteen boxes containing presidential? This records? is unacceptable. <laughs> this is an affront to the American people. An affront to the office of the presidency. I'm just asking questions. I need to know the answers. An affront to disenfranchised voters everywhere who had their election stolen. Don't worry, though. I've been president this whole time. I mean, whose election wasn't? And how was the election stolen if you from president? And how come you're doing such a terrible job? I'm doing a great job. Sleepy Joe is doing a bad job. Are you kidding me? Look at him. He's That's asleep. He's not awake. I just I was president, so it's like, who's doing the bad job? Who's doing the bad job? Now you listen here, bucko. I do a good job. I'm a good boy. I've always done a good job. Do you mm. understand? So when I tell I you that I've been working my ass off mm -hmm. in the White House this whole time, I mm. mean it. I mean it mm. from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. All I the problems, mm -hmm. all the issues, can I tell you? All the issues can be pointed squarely mm -hmm. at Joseph Robinette Biden. Oh. It's all his fault. I, mean, I feel like a lot of stuff started with you, you know. Some stuff started way back, but I think a lot of stuff actually came out of What's the world. What's the matter with you? Started? Started. I finish everything 100%. I get it done. What do you finish? I finish my meals, breakfast, oh. second oh. breakfast, third oh. breakfast, lunch, Ooh. and both God my damn. dinners, followed oh. by all four desserts. Each and every day, I make sure start to finish, they're taken care of. They're taken you care eat of. your veggies? I sure don't. And I'll oh. tell you, that's followed by a heaping helping of nap time. Each one of those meals... What is that? Seven, eight square meals a day, so followed by a healthy get, nap. How do you get anything done if all you do is eat McDonald's cheeseburgers all day? Can I tell you? It, right. Uh, it's 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 almost miraculous, but I'm doing more than Joe. I'm doing more because he's completely <laughs> asleep at all times. All 24 of those hours are dedicated to sleep. Sleepy, sloppy Joe. All he does I is sleep and drool and fall off of bikes. Things. I mean, that's a pull up the video of him falling off of a bike. Can you believe that? 
Why are we not still talking about this man who can't even ride a bike? He can't even ride a bike. I mean, can you ride a bike? I've never seen you on a bike. I think you. I only know ride how to. bikes with safety wheels. Oh. And that, that can I tell you why? Bike. With sure. the training wheels, because 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 my let's see how do i want to say this to make myself look good mm. it's my internal monologue no i i <laughs> the training wheels yeah. are um because i i like more wheels than other people i need more wheels more wheels makes a bigger it's better cool. faster stronger bike that's not true it does and that is true you don't know how to ride a bike I know how to ride a bike because I know how to get on a bike with training wheels mm -hmm. and stay on it mm -hmm. and not fall off. Unlike some people, unlike some fake presidents. Well, no, but his bike didn't have training wheels. His bike didn't have training wheels. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. It doesn't it matter. Will... It doesn't matter. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why right now. Excuse oh, me. Can I tell you uh -huh. why? Because he's stupid look. and he's not doing his job. And that's why he needs me in there. Calling all the shots, literally calling all the shots. I'm talking to the lobbyists. I'm talking to fucking Tom, Dick, and Sally. His administration comes to me because he's not there, because he's taken too many NyQuil's, I guess, Is or an Ambien or what, and he's zonked. He's totally out at all hours of the day. You know, they have to reanimate him. Constantly, they have to they have to hit him with like adrenaline or something. There's a guy who comes in; he's got a like a med kit. They hit him with the defibrillator too. They get his heart going, and that's what it takes just to get a little bit of eye movement out of the guy. He's a corpse. Have you, uh, have you used the same guy before with the adrenaline and the and all that and the defibrillator? No, I have not needed that. I not on record. No. Oh, not on record. I only needed. Mm -hmm. I only needed the uh, the antibodies that they gave me oh. at Walter Reed. That's the only time I needed medical intervention. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Fun fact: I've got uh, a perfect immune system. I've got a perfect heart. I've got a perfect body. I uh, I doubt that, but I hear what you're saying. That's why this uh, woman must be so confused. She must have been taken by me at some point, right? She saw my uh -huh. body. She saw how gorgeous I am, and she thought uh -huh. this man and I must have had some sort of sexual encounter, or she must have made it up in her head, really, truthfully. And they'll do that, too. When you're a celebrity, they make things up about you that never happened, and they envision them. They have these little fantasies in their head that play out. And I feel bad about, for this woman. She's had, a, obviously, a very good fantasy that she's trying to cash out on now. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I feel like... And that's all I'll say. good fantasy, then there wouldn't have been any issues. Well, any fantasy with me is a good one. So, oh, I, for that I mean, being the jumping-off point, you got to assume it was a fantastic fantasy she had. But again, she's trying to cash in on it. She's trying to turn it into something it wasn't. In her, I mean, even in her head, it wasn't. And then she's trying to then uh, milk it like a golden cash, uh, a golden egg laying goose cow. And it's not going to oh. work. I'll tell you right now, it's not going to work. Why well, won't it work? Because it's a lie. It's I a mean, figment of I, her imagination. She's a figment of your imagination. I don't want to give this woman any more airtime because I doubt she's even a real person. I mean, truthfully, I doubt it. That I'm not out here imagining white women, uh, so I know she's real, but um, you know, we'll come back to that later. Let's I'll talk about the fantastic town hall I did on fake CNN where they put me up and totally made a fool of themselves. I All mean, right, did you see this? Did you see anything from it? Let's pull check it, it out. Pull it up, please, if you would. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Thank quick, you. Quick. Thank quick, you. Quick. Yes, yes. Yeah. Quick, quick. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. No, is a student here at St. Anselm College. She's a Republican. This will be the first election that she has voted in. What's your question for the president, Caitlin? Hello, President Chung. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Um, the current administration has made it clear that we should continue to provide military equipment to Ukraine so that they can defend themselves. Do you support this decision? 
And how would you deal with the increasing threat posed by Vladimir Putin? First of all, thank you very much. It's really nice. And it's an important question, so important. What a sweet girl. I mean, truly. Just the nicest girl opens up with a nice soft ball of a question. I mean, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's let's see how because I address this. We're giving this. away so much equipment. We don't have ammunition for ourselves right now. We don't have ammunition for ourselves. We're giving away so much. But here's the thing. I have to say it to start off. No longer matters. If I were president, this would have never happened. I told them, and again, fake news, right? I told them live. Mm. In the town hall, I said, since I'm president, mm. none of this matters. Because I'm president, none of this matters. And look what they do with the AI and the deep fakes. They take my lips and they take my voice and they totally reanimate everything. And they make it seem as if I said I'm not president. I mean, let's go ahead and get a, a re can we get an action replay on this? Yeah, Please, let's go can ahead. you have your people rewind? Because look, I yeah. want you to oh. dissect this on a real level. If you're any kind of man, if this is a real news network, I want you to see here and now how they do me. For ourselves, we're giving away so much. But here's the thing. I have to say it to start off. No longer matters. If I were president, this would have never happened. And even the Democrats what a joke. admit that. Putin knew what a it joke. would have never happened. And his pipeline would have never happened. A lot of things would have never happened. But this Which would Democrats never have happened. That, and Mr. all those president? dead people, both Russian and Ukrainian, it would, they wouldn't be dead today. If this fake lady didn't take me to trial for an extended period of time, none of this would have ever happened. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. I would, I would have had it under control at all times. I mean, I think if, I think, I mean... And can I tell you, if I wasn't president this whole time, it'd be... Mm -hmm. 20 times worse. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 20 like million times worse. 20 million. Because the guy that's quote unquote supposed to be there mm -hmm. is asleep. Oh. News in there. He's, as they say, a walking Zoloft commercial. I don't think I've ever heard that before. And all those cities that are blown up and disintegrated right to the ground, that wouldn't have happened. Okay, now, here's the problem. We've given so far $171 billion. They've given, meaning they, meaning European Union, which is approximately the same. European Union is stealing from us on a massive scale. I mean, would you believe this? They're just, it's like they've got their hand, right? Their little Jimmy, he's got his hand in the cash register, right? And he's going, Mommy, Mommy, look at all these dollars. And Mommy's going, yes, Jimmy, take it. Take it. Take everything you want from the register, Jimmy. It's yours. And, that, and that's the European Union? That's, uh, that's it's Jimmy? Yours. No, that's Ukraine. Ukraine uh -oh. is uh -oh. Jimmy. Ukraine is Jimmy. Okay? The cash register is our cash register. <laughs> and Jimmy... Little Jimmy Zelensky, whatever you want to call him, he's taking everything from us on a massive scale, on a scale that the European Union isn't willing to fork over. They just simply aren't willing. Uh-oh. Hello? I think we're having a technical difficulty. All together as our economy. They Are we back? Are we Indeed. back? Oh my back. goodness! See what? Look. Can I'll tell you exactly what happened there? Can I tell you? I know what happened. Please tell us. Everything went dark, right? It went dark because mm -hmm. of the CIA. They've been on my tail for a while now. It's Obama's CIA, really. I got to tell you, they've had a vendetta against me for a while. Investigation after investigation. FBI, CIA—they're all the same, and they shut me down at every turn. But not this time, CIA. Not this time. Speaking of Obama, I, where's my Netflix deal? Huh? Why can't I make movies? I want a reality show about my family where one of them's an overweight redneck girl and I'll get a, a person to play their overweight mother and it'll be a real true story about an American story, somebody inspirational, and then I want them all to go to jail for drug possession and money laundering. What? Happy what ending. Are you? Are you? Is the I'll movie produce about... it myself. I just need Netflix's 
seal of approval. Netflix or Hulu or your family taking free or Quibi. I just need something. I need I need a network. Oh my god. Don't you have money to produce it yourself? It's neither here nor there. But I said I'd produce it. I just need a network to put it on. I mean you could I'll put it on truth, actually. Hold that thought. I'm gonna put it on truth. Done. Oh, okay. I'm brilliant. I'm full of ideas. Apparently, because the I'm very just like, first uh, truth money. social whole motion picture uh-huh. uh, TV program. Yep, oh, that's what okay. we'll call it. Oh, oh, all right. Then. We'll workshop names, but you know, mm-hmm. you get the picture. Oh, I get it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it, uh, mm-hmm. they try to shut me down when I talk about Ukraine. They do because they don't want to hear what I have to say. Jokes what? on them when you're president. Everything is up for grabs. What exactly do you have to say? They need to stop stealing money from us. Case in point. They've got their hand so deep in the cookie jar that they've reached through the bottom <laughs> the bottom of the cookie jar into another cookie jar. And they're just they're e- they're eating all of our delicious home baked cookies. Goodness. I mean, like, we should have made enough for them, don't you think? You always gotta make extra cookies. No. You never okay. F them, F their people, F everything they stand for. It's all oh, about damn. me. I mean us, the US. It's all about us. It's all uh, about us girls. Kind of said me. On your sixteenth me birthday. Me. Next question, please. Next question. I didn't know you watched SpongeBob. I made that song up right now. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's an original. It's a Trump original oh, masterpiece. Trump original. Oh, yes, what are the next, where, where, what's the next line to the song? <laughs> I need more uh, McDonald's apple pie, more pie. It goes right to my thighs. It's. Oh, maybe you did make that. <laughs> I, I told you it's an original. It's. There's no peril of thought whatsoever. It's all, it's all up here in my noggin. I keep it nice and tight, locked up. Lock her up. Oh. Lock her up. Lock who up? What are you talking about? Uh, it's all coming out at once. It's just kind of a word vomit right now. All my catchphrases. You, you have verbal Tourette's? Sometimes. Sometimes. I like to get that shut down with pills. Oh. Is that what you do now? My happy pills, they keep me silent when I need to be. Happy, happy pills. It's, I don't o- it's okay to be silent when when the time calls for it. Is that what the police tell you when they arrest you? They're like, you have the right to remain silent? The police don't arrest me. They arrest, uh, who, who, how do we say, gangsters. They arrest gangsters. That's how, what we called them at the beginning, right? For consistency. Like people from the mafia movies, they arrest people like no, that. No, again, that's the mob. Those are the that's mafia. That no, I'm talking right. people in the inner cities, uh-huh. and that's all I'll say. Like people in like Idaho and stuff, in like Wisconsin. Like cops people. are not bad people. Can I just say this? Screw a cab. I think. A, it should be, it should be a cag. All cops are good people. Right? Can we get that going? Let's get a couple of shirts together because I believe cops serve a very specific function in our society. They're almost like they're not enforcers, they're not murderers, they're not ruffians. What they mm-hmm. are are shepherds. They're shepherds. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in Jesus and in in God and Christianity? Do you believe? (laughs) That's neither here nor there. I'm asking a simple question that deserves a simple and straightforward answer. So, uh, a side question. If if cops were to come to your home, let's say Mar-a-Lago... Cops are shepherds. And as shepherds do, they Uh take a flock Uh of... Of shall we say uh, mm-hmm. lesser life forms, oh, and they herd okay. them mm-hmm. into barriers, 
mm -hmm. from which they cannot escape mm. or inflict any undue harm unto themselves or others. So uh, let's say... But mainly were... themselves. They can't hurt uh, each other. Sheep hurt each other all the time. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. They, I, don't, I don't think they do. They, I know it, they try to keep weaponry out of the farm, but they find ways. They make shivs out of plastic eating wear, bones. They find ways to hurt each other is what I'm saying, but they can't hurt the good people on the outside. And that's all cops do, is they herd these monsters, I mean, these other things into barriers. So if cops were to come to your home in Mar-a-Lago and then, and then herd you into a barrier where you couldn't be, a, you know, <laughs> do something to have yourself accused it just of... Wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen because I'm not a sheep. I'm a white man. I mean... I'm a white American. I'm not a sheep. Next question. I mean, aren't, aren't sheep usually white? Excuse me. I thought I made not? this analogy as clear as can be without saying what doesn't need saying. We're on the same page. We're on the exact mean, same page of the same Bible. I just think we're, uh, I just think we have different views as God all. God bless I think America. Views, uh, you know, which God? I've never been confused a day in my life. Oh, interesting. I bet you're a little confused when uh, you had to pay $5 million. I'm, the only thing I'm confused about is why people think, again, that this is a real person levying real accusations against me. They don't exist. None of it exists, and it's not happening again. I mean, like, I hear what Have you ever saying. been lied on? Has anybody ever come for you and, and, no, for real, seriously, have you ever been lied on in your life? Please, because if you've ever been lying on, then you know exactly how this feels, and you can relate to me. It's sad. It's a sad feeling when no one's on your side, and everyone thinks that you're wrong, and that you need to go to the to the, to jail, and that you can't be president anymore because somebody's lying, because of somebody's fake lies that they made up, because you wouldn't... I don't know, you wouldn't say hi in a mall at some point or something, or you wouldn't, you know, or you wouldn't give an, an autograph. What more can I do? I don't know this person. I don't know them. I don't know them. And they want to take my money. I'm not going to let them take my money. I need my money. How else am I going to get my dick worked? Crying out wait. loud. Who was that last uh, part? You're gonna what? Uh, uh, we have to. We have to scratch that from the. No, we gotta leave that in. You, we have to what, scratch that from the record. What were you gonna use your money for? Next question, please. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Next. Let's please move on. Friend. Please Goodness move great. on. That was difficult for me. I noticed it's a little funny, honestly, like real funny. But um, anyway, I hate you. You're you're mean. They told me that I'm the not... white the whiter guy was gonna be here and that he'd be cool. And you're not cool. I actually remember this now. I remember how ruthless and mean you were to me last time, and we did it in Mar-a-Lago. In beautiful, perfect Mar-a-Lago. I remember I saw some interesting boxes that were marked um, net classified national security information. Yeah, well, you snooze, you lose. If you noticed anything, it's too late now, Buster. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it is. Moving <laughs> on. Do you have anything else to All right. accuse me of? So, while I mean, we're I'm here. not accusing you, I'm just asking yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, you're not accusing me like she didn't accuse me of doing some heinous shit that never happened. She loved I mean, it. She liked it. Not... I think that means you did it. It doesn't mean anything. That definitely means you did it. It doesn't mean anything. You're about to be herded. <laughs> you're about to go to a place. I refuse. 
That's not how this works. <laughs> you're about to go. You're about to go to a fun place that rhymes with pale. I hope you do have money because your commissary is gonna get lit. But you could use it to make sure people don't beat you up every day. So I'd uh, I'd order a lot of soup. This is ridiculous. Know. This is insane. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you the the code. I'm trying to help you. you I don't need help. help. If they arrest uh, me, I... it's unlawful. Look, remember, soup, white cheddar popcorn, honey buns. La, 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 I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Get you some chili I'm and stuff. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail under any circumstances. Probably going to prison. Probably going to prison. Which is worse. Exactly, but it's not jail because it's, it's a whole different word. No, so. I'm asking. I want advice. Which which one's worse? Uh, It matters the way you look at it. Oh shit! What was that? Is that it's what prison that, sounds like? That's exactly what. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't exactly want to. I like. don't want to go. Is that's she exactly a prisoner? Is, is that is she in her prisoner costume right now? Is that what it looks like? Oh my! <laughs> I'm not ready. I need a red tie at all times. Down to my cock, I need. Mm, I need a you suit. Need a uh, you're I not gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna be wearing all orange, most likely. Can't and be in those prison PJs flop. all day. Are you kidding me? No, they're. Uh, it'll, you, do, it'll do a number on my figure. You just have to wear pants for the most part, but it's probably gonna be cold. So I need it like, tailored. I need it tailored, tailor made to my form. That's uh, not gonna. Have happen. you seen me outside seen of me. a tailored suit? You're gonna have to wear like. Extra larges or some shit. But I don't think you're tall, huh? You're like, what are you like? Five, I'm very two? tall. I'm I'm uh, six foot two. I don't I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, it's very accurate. If I Google that, is that going to be? If true? you Google it, go ahead and Google it. I would advise tall. you stay away from the fake Washington Post or New York Lies. It's what I call the New York Times, of course. The New York Lines. Interesting. Oh, it says Baron. Hold up. It's tall as fuck. His mom's like 5'11". I didn't know that. Oh, oh, interesting. You are. Oh, all the presidents are pretty tall. You are. They sure are. That's what makes us presidential. Hmm. You'd better believe it. Interesting. I mean, look at this. Let's mm -hmm. let's spare the mm -hmm. nation, this, shall we? I mean, I'm not proud of it, and I'm not saying that that lady was into me at this time. Uh, she was into uh -huh. me in my prime, and mm -hmm. I'm saying that she looked like how my wife looks now. Then, okay. <laughs> But you're, but you're currently with your wife, so that, does that mean you like her or my not? My ex-wife, my ex-wife, Marla. Oh, oh, where, you where? You can look I her thought, up, look her up right now. I thought you meant Melania. No, 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 no. I meant this, yep, you've got her right here on the screen. Oh, there we go. Hideous. Absolutely disgusting. I'm abominable. Not you said abominable. God damn. You More know what my dingling does? It goes the opposite way when this when this shows up. Are you kidding? And that's how I mean, she looked. That's if she looked like that. anything. She's claiming to have looked like this, like somebody I'd be attracted to, as my wife is here in this photograph. Is that not her? But she looked like this, my wife today. Which that's what she fortunately like right now. I'm not attracted to in the slightest. Not my type. Is it because she's like, what, at least like 50 something? That's I don't know. exactly why. Thank you. Oh my and she God. looks the part. I mean, look at her. Disgusting. So what's your um, preferred age range in a woman? My preferred age range, easy. I'll knock this one out of the park because I've got it memorized. I thought at first you meant just like any easy woman. And I, I want to like, 
Well, I want him drinking age for one. Because how okay, else? How else are they gonna become interested? We've got to get them nice and inebriated. Like, uh, you mean like slightly tipsy? Or like... Ever so slightly enough to make me seem like a supermodel. I think that's gonna take a few more drinks. So they have to be at least twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. I'd prefer eighteen, but again, I'm not gonna have them drinking underage. That'd be irresponsible of me. It'd so be illegal. Twenty-one, sure um, and then I would say, right in the pocket there, um, twenty-one to twenty-one and a quarter. I just don't want them too old. Is what I'm saying. I guess twenty-one, perfect age. Perfection in every way. I'm going to lock in at 21, actually. Yeah, that's your final answer. I'd like 21 for 500. So what age are they now undesirable? Uh, what did I say? Anything after 21. Oh, <laughs> so 22 is a no-go, huh? That would be a no what are you so you're just going to like college graduations and like hoping for the best? As president of the United States, it's been very hard, very hard on me. I haven't done nearly as many college commencement ceremonies as I'd like or graduation Ooh. speeches. Speaking of uh presidents going to graduation ceremonies, uh Joey B, Moneybags Joe back in the day, what he used to be known as, uh he went to his granddaughter's uh college graduation uh recently oh good for him yeah good for him are you sure it wasn't the body double that they cart around and make look like him and it's not hard they get it they get a dead guy and push him around instead of the of of joe is this weekend at bernie's <laughs> it's exactly that except they don't even do it with the real deal because he's technically still alive <laughs> technically oh shit how technically he's either alive or he's not i mean he's practically on life support but he's alive if oh, his heart's damn. beating i suppose he's still alive is there I anything else we, we should go over please go out ladies and gentlemen Amer to the american people please go out and vote i implore you vote with your heart and then use your heart to vote for me Please make Don't. me president for a third term. Don't give him a second term. The only president outside of wartime to serve a third consecutive term in office. And we have the incumbent advantage as well. We have the incumbent advantage. I have a question. So if you were to get your third term, would you just keep going on for more terms? Would you keep trying or would you let it go? I don't like to look that far down the road into the future, but absolutely, I will be president forever until I die, which I won't because we're working on technology that will preserve my heart and my brain for eternity. Didn't you say in 2016? And if I had it my way, we'd have that technology right now, readily available to everybody. To everybody? Every time an election gets stolen, we lose time on that technology. I don't see how those should be completely different areas. What can I say? That's how it works. Don't steal elections. No, honestly, I don't think we should try to prolong life. I think some, especially a lot of people, I think they should just go. And that's why it. you would make a terrible president and I make a fantastic president because I'm worried about the things that actually matter to the American people. When I turn 35, I'm going to be president, and then I'm going to physically shit on you. We'll see about that. Indeed, we shall. You can say whatever you want, but the, the, the reality is a different story. We'll see if you actually when do. You're, when you're in hey, jail square and up. I'm president, I'm going to have you jumped every day in whatever prison cell yeah, okay, you're in. Okay, sure. I know Krog Magog. You know what do, do you it? know? Because unlike you, you didn't take my advice and buy people suits with your commissary, but I will, and they're going to fuck you up. <laughs> We'll see about that. Like, as long as you, I was like, you keep jumping, the soups keep coming. We'll they see do about it. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Soups and tortillas. Yeah. I'm trying to help you out, but you don't want to take my advice. That's your problem. 
Is there anything else that we need to go over? Uh, so I had another question. Please. What exactly do you get from being president? Because you're still broke, and uh, I feel like people are coming after you more than if you had just stayed on TV, honestly. Because I'm still broke? Yeah, you're broke. You don't have money. That's why you can't pay uh, Jean Carroll her five milli. Because you don't have money. Uh, Newsflash, like I have money. Broke, I, have I have plenty money of money. You. You're broke as shit. My bank account has more money than your bank account. And I just paid my bills. And I still got more money than you. You're a broke boy. It's embarrassing. Whoever's on my PR team that signed me up for this shit is getting fired. Their whole family's being executed tonight. And I'd like them to thank you for that. I'd like them to thank you directly for their expressed expedited execution this evening I mean uh, what do they look like they look did a they lot. vote for you I gotta say nobody on my staff looks anything like you if that if that means anything I'm cool wow I'm not pressed the juice is always pressed boy never is it's always about race at the end of the day, isn't it, with you people? It's always about That's... race. Can we just all with get along? People. With who people? I love everybody. Hold with up, I'm about to send background. somebody over there to talk to you. <laughs> I told you we got your address. Don't worry. At the end of this interview, I got a friend you need to talk to. Don't I'm not worry. talking to anybody after oh, this. No, they're not. When I say talk, I don't mean talk. Worry. This was it. There's you got your chance to ask things. me whatever you want, and you blew it. You wasted all that time talking about that fake woman. She, she's real. Everyone knows her name. Yeah, yeah. So, w w I have another question. So, you were you were mentioned. Uh, you were like, oh, I ended uh, Roe v. Wade. Uh, they're gonna be there in like ten minutes, by the way. Um, you said Lovely. that you ended. Internet Mark, let's get out of here. Five minutes. Oh, no. stops. Answer my last question. Answer my last question. What so was you, that? You, you said that you were so proud to have ended Roe v. Wade. Are you? I don't think you're the one that. Are you the one that actually did that? And why are you so proud about it? Because you got all these kids. I thought you. You know what I'm saying? You you want you don't have money to support any more kids. I figured you'd be pro-abortion. Honestly. Listen, listen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We did a good thing. Uh huh. We did a did good you? thing, overturning Roe, because mm -hmm. it gives people a chance. It gives the evangelists a chance mm -hmm. to bargain. It gives them oh. it gives them ground to oh. negotiate, which they didn't have before. They didn't have grounds to negotiate, and we gave mm -hmm. them that. We gave them a great opportunity to bargain now that they didn't have before, and that's what mm -hmm. we did. And it was a good thing, overturning Roe, because now we're saving hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of children now. All these dead and dying babies no longer because we overturned Roe and did a good thing. And we did a good thing because it gives people the opportunity now, the evangelists, to bargain. They have a bargaining chip now that they didn't have before. They can negotiate. They can negotiate in ways that they've never been able to negotiate before. And I, the great negotiator, bestowed that upon them, that right to negotiate. And there was dead children everywhere on the ground. Just raining I from the skies. They were up until we overturned Roe. All the dead this babies. By the weather girls. I all don't the think dead babies right. ascend to heaven now rather than rain from the heavens as they did once before, being killed left, right, and center. Don't 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 dead babies go to heaven? I thought they all went to heaven. Don't you want that? Not the ones that their mothers kill. They go right to hell. Bearing there, the sins yeah. of their mothers. I mean, like, you know, it matters. It matters what you believe. Clearly, we believe different things. You said you believed in the Bible, you liar. I do. do I read it every night. Bible? I read the Bible every day and every Who's night. Bible? The Trump version, like the King James version, but the Trump version. How'd you know? We're working on that in the background. We've got about 10 million signed copies ready to go. Oh, and I signed signed? every single one. Do I get a free copy? <laughs> In your dreams, you can get a discount. I give you 5% off the top. 
you said 500% discount as in I get five That is not books. what I said. That is not what, what I said. said. Look Can't at this. Twisting my words once again. Discount for Trumpito's listen, Bible. Listen. Excuse me. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. Excuse me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah. Are you done? Are you finished or are you done? <laughs> Unbelievable. What kind What's of interviewer? So hard we did a good thing. Overturning role is what I'm trying to say. And I'll be quick with so this. We gave the evangelists room to I bargain. Think you took the bargaining opportunity away. I think this would actually happen. They had nothing. All they had to do up until now was sit back and watch mm -hmm. children be murdered. Oh, and now yes. they don't. Now they get to watch children be murdered in school at full learning age at the hands of okay. guns. But yeah, isn't that as is their people? American birthright to die from guns? They do not deserve to be killed in the womb. They only deserve to be killed in the classroom. I rest my case. But they don't even know if they're killed in the womb, but if they're killed in the classroom, then their last moments are full of fear. Or you like and I and every American knows that uh -huh. every child is precious. Uh -huh. And every child, every child born uh -huh. into their mother's arms uh -huh. is a happy little baby that uh -huh. will grow and develop and become strong and a beautiful uh -huh. American. And we also yeah. know Especially the these two ones. things happen to both be true. We also know that kids mm -hmm. hate school and they deserve the opportunity to be shot and killed in cold blood. If it means avoiding school, I'm doing children favors, I'm doing mothers favors, fathers favors. American families thank me that their children are no longer unhappy when they're shot and done. killed and that I'm they had and that they had the opportunity uh -huh. to form a meaningful bond with the child mm -hmm. up until that point and that they were not deprived of that resulting from an abortion. I'm going to be honest. I know some people that have probably voted for you, but they still don't want their kids to be shot. If anything, they'd probably rather kill them kids themselves, but they don't want like a stranger to do it. Too impersonal. I guess, uh, I guess you really don't know what you're talking about. I mean, so I know that you, uh, mentioned that you want to fuck your daughter because you're a sick man that needs to be in prison, but, um, would you rather kill your kids yourself, or would you rather a stranger kill your kids? I'd rather a stranger kill my kids while I'm in the corner of my room watching, if that makes sense. I'll be off in the corner. Like who's, to say where my, who's to say where my pants are? <laughs> but I will be observing. Yeah. And I'd like to yeah. get it on tape as well. God damn. Anything so you can else? I'd like a record. Oh my God, yo, damn, you're a, you're an interesting fellow, not I a think, jolly good fellow, an interesting fellow. I think that we're done here. I think we got it. What do you I think? Mean, sure, let's let it go. We'll save let's the let it go. for next time. Once you yeah. uh, get arrested, we'll do a. Until NGO next time. I really enjoyed this. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And cool. I gotta say. I got to say, as far as podcasts go, easily. This is the best you've been on, I know. Easily the best. Mm -hmm. Because I've been on it. Not the best sure. I've been on, but the best because I've been on it. If that makes that sense. Make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. It makes sense because I was here and everyone knows it. You're here because this is the best, so you're welcome. No, this is here because I'm the best. No. No. Yep. <laughs> yes. This is this is the best and nope. you're welcome to be on it. Nope. <laughs> this has been a privilege for you. And I'm so grateful that you had it. I think it's the other way around. Vote Trump. Twenty uh twenty what is it, twenty-four? Twenty twenty four. Who knows? I'm gonna be president forever. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm going to be king of the United States forever.
That is correct. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good night. Okay.